Hey guys, today we're going to be swapping out this 2014 stock radio with Amazon's 10.1 inch touchscreen radio. In the kit, you get the wiring harness and a backup camera. The tools that we're going to be using are pretty basic tools. We're going to be using a trim tool, a flathead screwdriver, a 7 millimeter socket, an 8 millimeter wrench, and a drill. To start this install, you first want to make sure that your AC is turned up all the way and that your volume knob is turned all the way down. Next, we are going to disconnect the battery by using an eight millimeter wrench to unhook the negative terminal. To begin removing the old head unit, we need to first take off the shifter, then we need to remove the center console, and then after that we can get to two screws which are located there and there, and then we can pull off the head unit. To remove the shifter, you just twist it off counterclockwise. After that's off, we're gonna open up these two compartments. I like to hold this at just a little bit of an angle because we're gonna pop this whole piece up. So you just put your two thumbs under here, pop up right there, grab underneath in here and the side panel and just pop up right there. After that, you can pull that off of the shifter and lift this up. There's gonna be this little clip right here you just push this tab down right there and pull out. And that's how you get your center console out. To remove this head unit, it's two screws right here, seven millimeter. I'm using this trim tool because it's soft on the plastics and it won't scratch it. If you don't have a, um, one of these tools, you can just use a flathead screwdriver. Just be careful on this edge. You're gonna just stick it in on the side right here and just gently pry up and it will pop out. Same thing on the other side, push it on the side, pop it out, just like that. Once you're out to here, you can turn it out to the side and there's just one little clip right here. You just squeeze in this tab and pull it out right there. Underneath the display, we're gonna be pulling out the CD player and this display. To pull these out, it's four seven millimeter screws on this side and four on this side. This just slides right out. Behind is one clip. It's the tab on the top right here. And you just pull straight out. These CD players are pretty tough to get out. There's an antenna cord that comes in through the back. To get it out, I found it's easiest to snake my hand underneath, find that antenna cord, and pull straight back. Okay, after you get that antenna in the back, you can pull the head unit out a little bit farther out to here. Then there's two clips on the back. You can just fill around and then there's one more right to the side of it. To do this next part, we're going to take the back of the stock head unit and these plastic clips right here. We're going to pry up on the sides and pop out. Um, a little trick to kind of get these um, inner ones is take a screwdriver, give it just a little bit of pressure and then just lift up on that outside and they pop right off. Now we want to save these little white clips because on the back of our head unit, we're going to install all six of these clips on these parts right here. After you get those six clips installed, we're gonna move on to the wiring harness. This wiring harness is super simple. It's all plug and play, it comes with everything you need, and it comes with a backup camera. First, we're gonna start with our antenna extender. We're gonna bring it right back here and plug it into this piece right here. And then next, we're gonna grab our big wiring harness and we're going to take our big plug first, and that plugs straight into the car. And then next we're going to grab this plug, and it has the green and black wires, and that goes into this other plug right here. Next we're going to be plugging in these cords right here. This one comes and plugs into this spot on the back of the head unit right here. And then I'm going to be using this USB cord right here and it comes and plugs in right here. The backup camera installs just like any other ordinary backup camera. I routed it up and through into the trunk. To get back behind the trunk, you're gonna take off this screw right here, and then these two tabs, there's one right there, and then one on the other side. After you've got those four clips removed, you can come in here and grab this piece and you can pop and lift up th that entire piece. To wire up the camera, 
I spliced it from my tail lights. So when we're in reverse, we have power to the camera. From there, I'm going to take this cord from the camera and run it up to the front using this cord. After you get the cord plugged in over there, we're gonna bring it all the way up along the side of the seat. And from there, we're gonna route it up and inside, up and over, and then through the back of there. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I've got that cord and it's routed up through the top in here and then all the way across inside and it comes out right down here. From there, we're gonna take this cord which is hanging on the side right here I'm going to pull out this trim just a little bit and we can sneak that cord inside of that trim piece right there. And from there, we're going to just continue to tuck it inside of this trim piece all the way down. Then we're going to run it across through here and then down this whole side and get it all tucked inside of there. And then after that, We'll go ahead and run it up underneath this plastic piece all the way through here and up and then straight to the back. We're gonna take all of that excess wire and I'm going to just kind of wind it up, try to make it look nice. After we've got it wound up, I'm gonna come and tuck it in here on the side of this and we're gonna just kind of lift up this carpet panel back here and we're gonna tuck it right inside of there. And then when we put the carpet back down, it'll hide all that excess wire. And then we'll, we're gonna do the same over here. We're gonna take these cords, we'll tuck them in, try to make it look good in here. And then we can pull this panel piece back and reinstall the panel. We got all that cord ran underneath this panel piece right here. And then all the way along this frame, up inside, across the glove box. Mm -hmm and it's sitting right back here, ready to be plugged in. Next, we're gonna be hooking up the wire for the camera. That comes in and plugs into this plug right here on the very end, just like that. And then we're gonna come back here and grab the wire that we threaded through, and those two just connect together. And then we have our GPS, and the GPS gets threaded right here just go ahead and make sure that's finger tight. And for the GPS, we're gonna take it and stick it up top back here and out of the way. So that just gets stuck right there and we can thread the wires down there. Next, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna grab this green cord and this green one comes and plugs in right here in this spot, just like that. And then we have these red and black wires down here, sorry, red, blue, and orange. And those get plugged in down here right at the bottom, just like that. And then our last one, and this is the main power and control unit, comes up here at the very top, just like that. And that should be everything we need to plug in. Um, one of the last steps for wiring is I'm gonna take this USB dongle and we're just gonna go straight into the glove box, right down, thread it in through there. And ours is just gonna sit right here, tucked away in the glove box. After you have all of the wiring, but the GPS, we're gonna save the GPS for very last. After you have all the wiring, now we're gonna go connect the battery and make sure that everything works. Now that we hooked up the battery, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that everything works. So we'll turn the key into the on position. And then from there, we'll make sure that everything's responsive and works. Looks like everything's working there. We'll go ahead and check our buttons. They're working. And we'll check the AC, make sure it's working. That's working. All of that's working. Awesome, and then we'll go ahead and check our backup, backup camera and make sure that's working. So if I push it down and put it in reverse, and that's working, awesome. Now we're gonna just clip this in place. It's easiest if you push it up and line it up from the top up here and just get it there. And then it's just as easy as just pushing it straight back into those places. And you wanna be really careful. 
you don't want to break anything just push it back straight right there those tabs in there and then this bottom will line up so we can screw it in right down there after those tabs are pushed in we can take two of the seven millimeter screws come right down here at the bottom in the same place as last time and go ahead and screw those in just like that make sure everything's pushed down looks good next we're going to move to reinstalling the center console this is all going to look just about the same so we'll go ahead we'll tip this front end piece and make sure to do this clip on this side again Put the shifter boot down into here and then you just gently push in all the corners just like that then we'll go ahead and thread on the knob to go into the main apps we're going to click that center button right there and then we have our apps right here the head unit's pretty responsive we have the play store right here on this side we have youtube z-link is where we're going to do apple carplay so you push z-link it's going to open and then it's going to connect to your phone so you wait and it'll say connecting and then it will pop up with connected and apple just like that and now we're hooked up to my phone and so from here you have your music and everything for apple play you is all that I can. to hook up to the internet on this it's pretty simple we're going to swipe down from the top to the bottom and there's the little wi-fi button right there we can click and hold the wi-fi button and from here we can turn it on and now we can hook up to any wi-fi that we want from around here to set the date and time we're going to slide down we're going to click car setting in the car setting we're going to go to this android setting on the side here then we're going to go to settings from here we can slide down until we find system language time backup and updates we'll click on that and then we can do date and time and from there you can set your time down here at the bottom we have all of your temperature control we have ac on and off we have temperature up and down right there we have media we have mode we have your fan speed and then the same on that side so if we come here and we click ac it'll pop up on your screen up here you can either touch it up there or you can touch it down here you can turn it on and off you can change your fan speed that mode button will change if it's blowing on your face or your feet thanks for watching this has been the install on the amazon 10.1 inch with apple carplay the link will be in the description down below